In the heart of Old Town San Diego, California, there stands a historic house that has captivated the imagination of locals and tourists alike for over a century. The Whaley House, a stately Greek Revival-style mansion, is not just a relic of the past, it's also a place steeped in chilling tales of paranormal activity. The story of the Whaley House begins in the mid-19th century when it was constructed by Thomas Whaley in 1857. Thomas Whaley was a successful entrepreneur who ventured to California during the Gold Rush era, hoping to establish a new life. He chose San Diego as the place to build his grand dream home, which also served as the first two-story brick building in San Diego. The house was ahead of its time, featuring modern amenities like gas lighting, and it quickly became a center of high society gatherings. However, the Whaley family's history took a dark turn as tragedy struck. In 1868, the family was devastated by the suicide of their youngest son, Thomas Tommy Whaley. He was only 18 years old and had been struggling with depression. This tragic event marked the beginning of the eerie occurrences that have become synonymous with the Whaley House. As the sun set over the grandiose Greek Revival-style mansion of the Whaley House in Old Town San Diego, a shadowy veil descended upon the home, concealing a deeper, more ominous narrative. It wasn't long after the tragic suicide of Thomas Tommy Whaley, the youngest of the family, that the first signs of the supernatural made their presence known. The eerie occurrences began modestly enough. Late at night, the unmistakable strains of a harp, an instrument young Tommy Whaley had loved to play, would resonate throughout the mansion. The ethereal notes floated through the hallways, playing a mournful tune as if a young spirit sought solace in the music he left behind in life. But it wasn't just the ghostly harp music that left residents and visitors of the Whaley house trembling in fear. The creaking and groaning of the floorboards and empty rooms soon gave way to inexplicable footsteps echoing through the quiet corridors. Some witnesses described these phantom footsteps as light and hurried, as if Tommy's spirit were perpetually pacing the floors in search of answers to the questions that plagued his brief existence. As the tales of the ghostly harp and the restless footsteps spread, they inevitably drew the curiosity of paranormal enthusiasts and ghost hunters. Their investigations into the house's haunted reputation would uncover even more chilling details. Within the enigmatic confines of the Whaley house lies a room with a history more sinister than most. This room was no ordinary space, it was a courtroom, and it played host to a series of events that would cast a long and haunting shadow over the house's history. In the early years of the Whaley house, the courtroom was a place where justice was served, often with the stern finality of a gavel. The most infamous incident within these walls was the hanging of Yankee Jim Robinson in 1852. Robinson had been convicted of attempted grand larceny, and his sentence was swift and brutal. It was in this very courtroom that the sentence was carried out, with the gallows erected to mete out the punishment. The memory of that fateful day still lingers within the walls of the courtroom. Visitors and paranormal investigators have reported an unmistakable sense of dread when stepping into the room. Some claim to hear the spectral echoes of Robinson's last moments, his footsteps as he ascended the gallows, and the eerie silence that followed his execution. The presence of Yankee Jim Robinson is said to persist within the courtroom. Witnesses have described apparitions of a man hanging from the gallows, an unsettling and haunting sight that has left many breathless with fear. The courtroom, once a symbol of justice, now stands as a haunting reminder of the past, where the spirits of the condemned and the echoes of a bygone era continue to reverberate through time. The Whaley House holds its dark secrets close, and the courtroom serves as a chilling testament to the house's grim history. The family experienced several more misfortunes, including the deaths of family members and financial difficulties. Violet Whaley, Thomas's wife, passed away in the house in 1885. Even in death, her spirit is said to linger, and visitors have reported encountering her ghostly presence. The Whaley House harbors a spectral cast of characters, each with its own unique tale that adds to the chilling narrative of the home. These restless souls, said to roam the mansion's corridors, create an atmosphere of profound unease. The master bedroom, once the sanctuary of Thomas Whaley, is one of the epicenters of supernatural activity within the house. Many have reported encountering the ghostly apparition of Thomas Whaley himself. Dressed in the fashion of the 19th century, he appears as a stern, imposing figure standing at the foot of the bed. Witnesses have described feelings of dread, as if his presence exudes an aura of authority that is deeply unsettling. Another spectral resident is Anna Whaley, the Whaley's daughter. Plagued by mental health issues throughout her life, her tormented spirit is said to linger in the house. 
Anna's ghostly presence is often encountered on the second floor, where she appears as a forlorn figure in a white dress. Witnesses have described her as appearing lost and filled with melancholy, her sorrowful gaze seemingly reaching out from the past. The presence of these ghostly inhabitants has left a deep impact on those who have encountered them. Visitors describe an overwhelming sense of sadness, fear, and a palpable connection to the past. The spectral residents of the Whaley House, including Thomas and Anna, continue to elicit a profound and haunting response from those who dare to venture into their realm. These ghostly inhabitants, each with their own tragic pasts, further cement the Whaley House's reputation as a place where the line between the living and the dead blurs, and where the weight of history hangs heavily in the air. The spirits of Thomas and Anna Whaley linger, forever bound to their family home, their stories entwined with the very fabric of the house itself. But the Whaley House has more to offer in terms of spectral inhabitants. The restless spirit of Violet Whaley, the family matriarch, lingers within its walls. She passed away in the house in 1885, and her presence is still felt by those who venture inside. Witnesses have reported encountering her ethereal form, manifesting as a lady in white, a solemn figure that seems to embody the enduring bond of family, even in death. In addition to the Whaley family members, other apparitions have been reported throughout the house. Visitors claim to have glimpsed shadowy figures darting in and out of rooms, vanishing as quickly as they appear. The unexplained phenomena within the Whaley house extend beyond just the family's tragic history. They suggest that the house itself has become a sanctuary for spirits from different walks of life. The experiences of those who have encountered these ghostly inhabitants go beyond mere sightings. Feelings of sadness, fear, and an undeniable connection to the past often accompany these spectral encounters. These phantom residents, with their individual histories and stories, further solidify the Whaley House's legacy as a place where the past refuses to remain buried. As witnesses continue to recount their encounters with these ghostly inhabitants, the house remains a testament to the enduring power of history and the spectral echoes that refuse to fade with time. The Whaley House has been the focus of countless paranormal investigations over the years. Paranormal enthusiasts, ghost hunters, and mediums have all sought to uncover the truth behind the haunting tales. Many claim to have captured photographic evidence of apparitions, recorded electronic voice phenomena, EVPs, and witnessed unexplained occurrences during their investigations. One such investigation took place in the courtroom, where experts set up cameras, audio recording equipment, and EMF meters. During the investigation, the team experienced sudden temperature drops, anomalous electromagnetic readings, and eerie voices caught on tape. The evidence gathered only added to the house's reputation as a haunted location. Visitors to the Whaley House have their own stories to tell. One particularly chilling account involves a visitor who claims to have seen the ghost of a woman in a period dress walking down the hallway and vanishing into thin air. It has been featured in numerous television shows, including paranormal investigation programs like Ghost Adventures and Ghost Hunters. The house's eerie reputation has also attracted the attention of writers, leading to its inclusion in books and films. While many are convinced of the Whaley House's paranormal activity, skeptics offer alternative explanations for the eerie occurrences. They argue that the old building may creak and groan, producing the sounds mistaken for footsteps. Similarly, the temperature fluctuations can be attributed to the house's age and ventilation. The Whaley House in Old Town San Diego is a place where history and the supernatural intertwine. Its rich history, combined with chilling tales of ghostly encounters, has made it an iconic haunted house in the United States. Whether you're a believer in the paranormal or a skeptic, the Whaley House invites you to step back in time and explore the eerie stories that have made it a legendary location in the world of ghostly encounters. The Whaley House stands as a testament to the enduring power of history and the unexplained, keeping visitors and researchers alike captivated by its chilling and mysterious presence. Don't miss out on our exciting content, hit that subscribe button and join our YouTube community today.